September 25, Friday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the ancient prophets has arisen. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord But who do you say that I am? The question begs an answer. Many questions have been posed by the disciples of John the Baptist. Are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? By the disciples of Jesus after the coming of the storm. Who then is this who commands even the winds and the sea, and they obey him? By Herod Antipas, who then is this about whom I hear such things? The answers will come from the mouth of Peter, the Messiah of God. From a voice from heaven at the transfiguration, This is my chosen son, listen to him. From the confession of the centurion at crucifixion, truly this was the son of God. From the apostle Thomas at one of the resurrection appearances, my Lord and my God. Ecclesiastes declares there is an appointed time for everything and a time for everything under the heavens. But with the entry of Jesus' Messiah, God intervenes in human affairs, and salvation history becomes a reality. As predicted, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected, be killed and on the third day be raised. By His passion, death, and resurrection, Jesus accomplishes His mission as Messiah. Truly, in God's time, Jesus makes all things beautiful. He is the Lord.